Hi my friends, today we model this part which is a dual exhaust pipe with a drawing right here. As you can see there are two ways for a circulation of uh, exhausting air and you can also see that this angle is 35 this section is a a here the radius is 20 in uh, uh, this section and if you try you can see that this is also 20. for me this is very interesting Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT, and I don't use the 2D sketch but the 3D sketch. You can create a line starting from anywhere, as you can see, but you must be advised that I'll show you some new procedures which were not used in my previous tutorials. I apply F6 to have this presentation of the triad line and you see here a configuration axis and planes. I want to create a sketch placed in the plane x y to do this i select this plane with a click and starting from this point i draw a vertical line near cursor you see an y and uh, two parallel lines i cannot show you them but you see them i draw a vertical line of 34 millimeters. The uh, configuration of a plane's axis is changed to have uh, the new start as the base. Now I continue to uh, use this plane so i go somewhere here no here then i want to create another line in this plane which is uh, zy i click here and i go to the right and you see z and the two parallels this means that I draw a, a line parallel to the, the axis Z. The length of this line is uh, 37. I finish with lines. Escape. Now you see that we have some uh, lines which are not in the same plane. I apply an angle between this line vertical which is vertical and this one of 35. Now I want to place a distance from this point to this point on vertical. To do this I get out of dimensioning and I select the plane ZX ZX XZ is this one I make it visible before dimensioning I want to make another thing I make coincident this point with the center point which must be in this plane you see 
Now I apply dimension from this point to the plane, which is uh, 62. Good. Now I'll use the tool bend with a value of 20, which is similar to the tool uh, fillet in uh, 2D sketches. 20 is uh, the fillet between these two lines and also between these two lines. Finish the sketch, select this plane. I don't need to project the center point because it is uh, already in this plane. So I create a circle with the center in the center point and the diameter of 15. Finish sketch. Sweep on this curve. Okay. I hide this plane. You see the result. You can verify dimensions in the drawing of course. Now, since we have this uh, wing, we must create this, another one, by using uh, mirror. We mirror the full part about the plane YZ. Okay, now we have both wings. We continue by applying shell to create the void interior. But firstly, we apply radius 5. And uh, remember, external is diameter 15, internal is 13. I select this edge, I apply 5, OK, then shell with a thickness of uh, 15 minus 13 divided by 2. We don't want to have uh, leads or closed internal volume but open one so I select the three ends okay you see the shell now the plate the plate is this one it has that two holes and it looks like a slot We select this face to create a new sketch, then slot, we place this point here, then we project the other circle and we place the other center to this center. If you take a look here, you see a dimension of 62 from this continuation of the slot. 62 we apply dimension of 62 between this point 
and this point 62 finish sketch I don't need this but I can handle using this no problem if here is uh, with the hole and here is with the external of the hole the thickness is one millimeter so one millimeter the other direction and join okay there is a fillet here of uh, one millimeter fillet one and also here okay to finish this we have to create uh, an extension a circle with center right here and radius 5 we also know that uh, there are two holes of 4 millimeters and fillets of radius 5 we select this face to create a sketch then a circle with a center in this point and a radius of 5 you will see there is an interference here so when we apply extrude we take care to select this without that cut yes this is not part of the extrusion but this is two to this face with join and not cut okay the hole is entire around here hole face center diameter of four through all okay fillet of five to both sides okay now we apply mirror to the three last features one two three the mirror plane is uh, this one you see what happens good the original part has uh, a cut as you can see dimensions are here radius 0 0.5 and 12 is to the center of that uh, radius we select this plane for a new sketch F7 line from here up keep press the left button of the mouse and go here then down then close y is uh, horizontal and z is vertical they must be on the same vertical dimension is 
radius 1 and the distance is 12. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetrical, through all, with cut. You see? Oh, not one, <laughs> but uh, 0 0.5 is there. One is uh, the dimension. We use that sketch and we change 0.5. Good. That's all. Let's see what about the volume. I properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, paste. The same volume. Cancel. We keep the first value. Now I apply material, which is stainless steel, and also shade it to compare. You see, they are absolutely the same. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.